Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see from the title, I've got a B&M haul for you. I've got some really nice home and garden bits that I can't wait to show you. So let's get straight on. The first on items video. that I picked up was these two Sherwin units. These were £4 each and they're the ones that have like a little lip on the front of them and the plan for these is to go downstairs next to my daughter's play corner just so it's somewhere that we can put her pictures that she's made from nursery and also keep some books as well. I just feel like they'll look really nice stacked up like that. These are also really good if you don't have loads of room and you want to like lay some pictures and some pretty bits on them. That looks really pretty as well. Talking of pictures, Today's video is kindly in collaboration with Desenio. So you will notice as I go around my house in my vlogs and stuff, the walls are actually quite bare. And the reason for that is I'm not very good at choosing art. I've bought maybe three or four art pieces, put them up on the wall and it's never looked quite right. Desenio is this amazing online place where you can get prints, frames, personalised pictures, etc. And they have a gallery wall app, which means that if you're a little bit like me and not great at picking art, you can put the pictures on the wall, make sure they match before you buy them. And that's what I did when I chose the pictures for my bedroom. I actually got some pampas grass ones because my house is quite small and we utilise every space that we can for storage, which means there's not lots of ledges i love that pampas grass look the pampas grass look but it's just not room for me to have a massive vase of it so i got some pictures and i just find it so calming in the bedroom and i just absolutely love how they look i also got a picture for my bathroom transformation that is coming i was looking for this kind of like image of like a, the outline of a person i just think it's so modern and i love the kind of like grey nudey beigey colors you'll see that throughout the pictures that i've chosen you guys know i'm actually in the process of kind of like updating some of the decor and i'm in two minds at the minute whether to change the paint or not so i'm actually putting the pictures in seeing how they look when I change up the other decor and seeing whether I feel like I need to actually update the paint. I did also get some pictures for this room. This is my filming office room. And again, it's been one of those rooms that we've not really, I would say, looked after in the house. And I got this amazing picture of this lady with a Chanel board. Now, there's two things I like the, about this. I can't surf, but I wish I could. I wish I was a cool girl and could surf, but I, I totally can't. But I like the fact that it's kind of like represents holiday. And also, so I feel like if I was ever going to buy anything designer, it would definitely be Chanel. I also, just to go, to go with it, I got a little um, picture of a lady doing a hair in a bun. So I just feel like a bun is so timeless and so classic. And I just thought it was a really beautiful print. They're also great gifts. I actually got my friend a couple of prints for her house. She's moved out recently and I just thought what a lovely way to kind of like treat her. And they have prints for every single style. If you're not like me and don't just like grey, nudes, beiges and black, there is more colour on there. So definitely don't forget to go and check them out. Um, I do have a discount code that I will leave on screen. And I'll make sure that I leave all the details of the discount in the description below. You get 25% off prints. It doesn't include hand-picked, personalised items or frames. Um, but it does include the prints, which is everything that I've got today if you did see something that you like. Moving on into some more home decor. I was so excited when I saw this. I got this amazing plant pot. Now it's on a really big stand. So this was actually in their outdoor section. It was 15 pounds. And then I bought it at home. And I was like, do I actually want to use this outdoors? Because it's so nice. I am loving accessorizing with black at the minute. That's why I've picked black frames for my pictures. Because I just love the depth that it provides in a light room. All of my rooms are painted this kind of grey. Very light. I feel like depth and black just brings a certain depth and warmth to the room. So, and style. I just feel like it's so stylish. This already has a hole in, which is handy. I mean, you don't have to drill any holes in it. But yeah, I feel like this will look both nice inside and outside so i might keep it inside for now and then if my seeds come off 
fingers crossed i might move it outside and put some of my homegrown plants in there but i just love it it's so it's matte black it's just so stylish more garden stuff because you know i'm going crazy on the garden wear at the minute actually this is two things so this is a plant and i believe the plant itself was three pounds it didn't come in this pot so it's just a really pretty red plant i actually got this because my daughter's favorite color is red and when she went to her grandpa's garden she absolutely loved his red flowers he has so many flowers and i just thought oh i'm gonna get her one whilst mine are waiting to germinate <laughs> and then i also picked up this ribbed tin it says pale but it's like a, a plant pot it was only one pound fifty i absolutely loved the pale gray color and it's got a little handle as well i just thought that would look so cute in the garden because i picked up some wooden shelves for the garden i will do an overlay of what these look like i have several different plant pots at the minute and they're just kind of resting on the grass and i was thinking do i put a little bit of decking down just like a little square and then i thought oh i don't know if it's going to look right because we've kind of already got to almost like patio areas i thought was that going to look a little, a little bit much because it's only a small garden and then i saw this wooden shelf and i was like i've got to have it <laughs> it was 25 pounds which i actually think is a really good price i was looking for some old ladders on facebook marketplace like wooden ladders and the only ones that i could find were where people were selling like vintage ones and if they're vintage or antique i always find that they're really marked up and i didn't want to take anything like that on just yet because of like the care for it the ones that i was looking at needed some repair so i thought for 25 quid these hopefully will look really nice in the garden and hold all of my lovely plants i did also get this pot to go on there as well it's this really gorgeous kind of like creamy color this was only three pounds which i thought was really good because again it will hold quite a lot but that would also look nice on a windsill as well and then i couldn't help myself i did get some more seeds so i got some little sunflower seeds these were £2.80. They had three for two on at B&M. So I'll tell you the individual price and then you get like the cheapest free, obviously. And the Mr. Fothergills, which I've heard is the best the seeds and things i also got a sunflower giant single now i know these grow really really tall and i can remember my next door neighbor having one when i was younger i was just absolutely fascinated by it so i want to grow one hopefully it works out i don't know if i'm too late i don't think i am i think i can do it <laughs> uh very much able yes we can still sew outdoors, thank God. Um, yeah, I kind of want that. I don't know, I just find huge plants fascinating. I think my little girl will too. And if there's any other kids who are like me, whose neighbors have grew gardens, I don't know, they're just cool. So yeah, I've got one of those. I also got some of these sweet teas. So these are the Singing Blues. These were £2.55. You get 25 seeds on in here on average. Um, I just really love purple in gardens. I don't know what it is about purple and yellows. I just like the brightness and the contrast of it. So I got those. I also got some stock night scented seeds. So these are kind of like a really pretty pinky purple colour. Again, I just thought they were really beautiful. And then I did also just pick up some wild flower seeds. Now I'm planning on, hopefully this will work, just to put these in one half of a bed that we've um had built because one half is quite shady and it is going to have some bushes put in but i thought oh if i can get a few nice little flowers kind of growing like in between that would look really pretty and again i've gone for like a purpley pinky lilac color because i just absolutely i just feel like it looks so pretty in a garden and i'm normally a pink person but there's something about like a purpley garden that i just really like randomly <laughs> i also picked up some fabulosa raindrops washing up liquid i absolutely love the scent of this this was only one pound 29 and it's a huge bottle and i really like the color as well i mean it's not going to be out on the oh god it just smells like sweet um it's not going to be out on the surface so it doesn't matter too much what the color is but yeah i just absolutely love the bottle i just feel like fabulosa are absolutely killing it with their scents at the minute talking of fabulosa i did also pick up some of their wipes i believe this was these were one pound fifty i just get through so many of these at the moment i always keep them in the car in my handbag and this is in the scent electrify which i've never smelled before so let's give this a sniff oh that's nice I think it's more subtle because it's wipes. 
I want to just sniff these too much. I shouldn't get so close when sniffing the <laughs> Um But yeah, it does smell nice. It's kind of a, I don't know how to explain that scent. It's not manly, but it's not really floral and feminine, but it is really nice. I do like the packaging on that as well. The grey with like the nudie kind of like geometric print. Was it supposed to be a leaf print? I don't know. Either way, it looks really nice too. So the next item that I got was for the garden again, and it is these LED solar powered lights in warm white. I just love warm white. I think it gives a really nice ambience to like a place or a garden. So yeah, these are to go behind our seating area at night time. So I'll have these on in the back, or even maybe around the shed, I'll have the fire going. Oh, I think it would just be so nice. These were actually on offer, I think, because they were only five pounds. And compared to the other lights that were in there, these seemed really cheap so yeah I was really impressed with those and I like the fact that they're solar powered because I just don't like the idea of like mixing electric and rain so so the next item that I got was an essential for our doggy and it's this big box of dentist soaps you get 28 in here and it's about four pounds 75 five pounds this box um pedigree so I'm a little bit funny about getting my own branded B&M treats I you hear horror stories on um, like facebook and stuff i don't actually know if they're true but just in case i always go for the branded stuff and i do feel like with our dog it's probably the same for your guys dogs if we don't um stay on top of the dentist sticks each day her breath does tend to smell so it's always good just to have like a few more in because you never know when we're going to run out. <laughs> also got some bold gel. I think this is 2 dollars and you get 24 washes in here. This is in Summer Breeze. I never normally go for yellow, but I don't know. I think I was just in like a springy mood that day, so I ended up going for the yellow. But the, oh, is it actually blue? I think it might actually come out blue though. Oh, it smells like, whoa that's strong it almost smells a little bit polony i'm not sure about that i have, i have bad hay fever so that's not good for me but i don't know i'll be honest with you like if you like that kind of like very floral almost pollen scent you'll love this but yeah it just reminds me of hay fever <laughs> did get some of these coca noodles i've never actually tried these i know i think it's hazel maria wood she always raves how nice these noodles are and then i saw them in these parts and i was like yeah there's just some lunch times that i can't be bothered to make lunch and i thought these would be handy and i've heard good reviews about how tasty these particular ones are so i'm going to give those a go i know it's a basic but it's needed so these were a pound and they're just the insistent toilet blocks pine fresh and yeah these are the green ones i normally go for the pink they didn't have any in so i've had to go for green which i don't mind as long as it keeps the toilet nice fresh and clean i don't mind i do have to admit actually these cheap ones, I don't know, if, to be honest, it might be a little bit of false economy here because these don't last nowhere near as long as the actual branded blue ones, but they didn't have any in my B&M. So yeah, just be wary if you are getting these. They may not actually be better value, even though you get more and they're cheaper. I also got some Lenore. This is in the scent Exotic Bloom. I just went in and I saw the bottle and I thought, I need some conditioner and I really like the look of this one, so I wanted to try it. Let's give this a sniff. Oh, oh, that's nice. Mmm, that smells like. I always want to say, do you know, like when you've had a shower and you've had like really nice, like shower gel and like the scent lingers? It kind of smells like that. It almost smells like the shower room when you've had a nice, like when you've used your nice shower gel. <laughs> no, but I really like that. Again, I think that was like 2 99 or something. Let me double check the receipt. Yeah, that was 2 99 and it is 52 washes. So that will last us quite a while. Also got some of my trusty toothpaste. You guys know this is the only one that I use. It's the Aquafresh, fresh and minty. And I swear this have gone up to like £1.20 something, but I don't mind because it's the only one that doesn't play my teeth up. Got from the Freddo's because I can't live without cabbage chocolate, though I am trying to be better and have less <laughs> when I eat it. Whereas, you know, normally I just have like a dairy milk bar or like a, you know, like a two fingered twirl. I feel like if I have like a smaller one, that's better for me. So 
I'm gonna try having Freddy's, but I know what I'm like, I'll never just eat two. <laughs> and then to go with that, I did also get some twirls because twirl is probably my favourite. If I was going on a, if I was stranded on a desert island and I can only have like one food source I could take with me, it would probably be twirls. <laughs> I then got some of the trusty Dr. Beckman carpet stain remover. I worry slightly when we don't have any of this in the house i actually have one upstairs and one downstairs and our downstairs one ran out because my daughter spilled a load of barbecue sauce down her coat sleeve do you know it's like one of those coats that's like double where you have like the cuff and then like the coat comes over the top yeah literally a full part of barbecue sauce went down the sleeve i thought oh that coat's ruined <laughs> but luckily come back Obviously rinsed it, put some Dr. Beckman on it and most of it has been removed. So I'm just going to chuck it in the wash and see how it turns out. But I absolutely love this stuff. And yeah, I use it on clothes as well. I first got that from Gemma Louise Mills, Gemma Louise Miles channel. She used it on her boyfriend's hoodie and it brought the stain out. So yeah, I use it on clothes now as well. And it's really good. I cannot recommend this product enough. And I just love that it's got a brush and foamy like head as well. It's just so good when you just Scrubbing, scrubbing out stains it just feels so satisfying some more fabulosa this is the rainbow drops uh, antibacterial hand wash god i don't know why i found that so difficult to say then um this is a yellowy color again i wouldn't have normally gone for this but do you know what i mean just the color of it in the bathroom you know what it looks like but it is in a like porcelain and um, soap dispenser so you won't see the color Oh, and it just smells so amazing. It literally smells so amazing. Let's my mouth water. I want sweeties. <laughs> but yeah, be it, like for me, B&M is the place to go for fabulosa stuff. I think it differs depending on where you are. Like my pound shop and home bargains, it doesn't carry much stock. So I thought I would stock up whilst I was in B&M. And then I picked up some of this Miracle Grow All Purpose Liquid Plant Food. Although I am doing my best to grow plants, you guys know that I absolutely know nothing about doing it. This is my first year. Um, I have a friend who has a greenhouse and he's recommended this. He said this is like what he uses on everything. I was like, okay, great. Like one fertilizer, is it fertilizer? God, I don't even know if that's right. I think it is. For everything, that just makes my life so easy. And I think it was only like 2 99 or something. And I feel like Miracle Grow is a good brand. Like I've seen it advertised on the telly when I was younger with before and afters. <laughs> that, mind you, those sorts of things. You can't trust them online. So can you really trust them on TV adverts? Even if they were from like the early noughties, probably not. But fingers crossed that this works for me. And then finally, I got some Vimto. So I feel like squashing supermarkets is really expensive for what it is. This was a pound and it's a no added sugar and it's the orange, strawberry and lime one. I feel like I've tried it before, but I can't remember what this tastes like. I really like the pink one that they do. Of course, I like the classic, but I do like the pink one as well. So I'm hoping I'm going to like this. I do. I mean, orange, I love. Strawberry is one of my favourite fruit. And I do love a, a little bit of lime. So it sounds like a winner to me. It says you get 35% extra in here, although it does look like a normal side bottle. So not too sure what they're talking about there. And that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and check out Desenio if you're looking to switch up your home decor on a budget because their prices are so good on there. And like I said, I'll leave all the details in the description box if you do want 25% off as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, I'm also on Instagram and I tend to post stories on there over like actual pictures. So if you'd like to see a little bit more of what I get up to, feel free to go and check me out on there as well. But that's it from me now. <laughs> Have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.